Hey guys, Tim's here, aka FCFan21, bring you week 6 of the SPF West uh, division for singles. Um, yeah, not really. Not really a rolling of the tongue, but it's whatever. Um, last week we lost against Hunch uh, with 3 0. And this week we take on King Bob, coach of I Have No Enemies. Right now we are 2 and 3 with a minus 5 differential. And Bob is five, 4 and 1 with a plus 12 differential. Um, yeah, let's just jump into his team. Um, he has a pretty top heavy team as that's it's called um, meaning he has drafted well his first six months are all pretty high point months and um, the latter side of his draft contains a lot of lower tier or point months um, and looking at the stats he has brought most uh, mostly the same Pokemon this uh, season. Uh, Curon Black was his first round pick and he brought that thing to all five games. Curon Black has a massive attack set of 170, uh, pretty high defenses, so a threat to um, yeah prep hard for, I believe. Same goes for Mega Scizor, always also brought to all five games. Um, can be uh, both offensive and defensive has a incredible high attack stat I believe 160 or somewhere in, uh, around that ballpark and with the technician boost even um, weaker moves like bullet punch bug bite um, hit with 1.5 times the damage so that thing can hit like a truck uh, without even having investment uh, Tapu Fini is his fairy type a very annoying fairy to deal with because you can't uh, status it because it sets up misty terrain uh, Ogapon cornerstone uh, is brought also in to five games um, is actually his kill leader with a six and one differential um, yeah cornerstone mask boosts his uh, attacks and yeah it already has a high attack and speed stats so um, always hard to deal with. Cresselia is one of his three Terra Captains. Ogapon Cornerstone is his first. Um, yeah, just pure rock type because it can only uh, trespass into that rock type. Cresselia is Terra Psychic Fairy and uh, Poison, I believe. I have to look it up because. Um, for some reason, the terras in the, the dock are kind of wonky. Um, poison, fairy, psychic. So yeah, a very annoying defensive mon to deal with. Um, hard to take out and with terra poison uh, you can toxic it, which is very annoying to deal with. Um, those are the mons I believe he brought to almost every game only the uh, Topofini wasn't brought into one game <coughs> his sixth Pokemon Needle Queen was brought to three games um, I can see a, a hazard set set hazard set or a um, life orb hard hitting uh, set with earth, sludge wave earth power all that kind of shenanigans um, Looking into his second side, his uh, bottom uh, part of the draft, Magmortar, four points, was, uh, hasn't been brought yet. A hard hitting fire type with some decent coverage. Ordino was brought to two games, uh, mainly a defensive mon that can um, pass around wishes, can uh, heal bell away any status conditions. Hitmonchan was brought to a single game. Um, I think he mainly used it as a rapid spinner. Um, can be an offensive uh, scarf set with a 
because of he ha oh, because of the coverage moves it gets. Uh, Scrafty isn't brought to uh, a single game and uh, can be a a, no a problematic setup sweeper with Dragon Dance. And Vesper Quinn is his final mon. Um, one of the defoggers that he has and uh, his final Terra Captain with Terra Flying, Ground and Water. So, um, my prediction for what he will bring will come in the end. Let's first have a look at what I will be bringing. We start off with Celesteela the Juggernaut as his physical subseed wall. Um, max HP 135 in defense, 122 in special attack, relaxed nature, boosting his defense to uh, lower his sp uh, speed stat with of course the beast boost, leftovers for recovery, heavy slam, uh, air slash as damaging moves. Uh, heavy slam goes pretty well into uh, King Bob's team, the current black, the Ogapon cornerstone, both don't really like taking um, heavy slams. Air Slash into Mega Scizor, Fini, uh, Cresselia goes decent. Um, plan is Cresselia can't really touch me um, with all of his uh, all the Terra types. Uh, I set up a leech seed, I substitute up an Air Slash. Uh, it, um, I probably won't outspeed, but I want to residu residually uh, uh, yeah, slow that thing down because Cresselia is an annoying Pokemon to deal with. Second up is going to be my Caldogo, which can be either a breaker or a sweeper this week. Um, there are just two things outspeeding my uh, Hisuian Arcanine. that be the Curum Black with five base points uh, higher in speed and the Ogopon Cornerstone, um, 20 base speeds, uh, points higher. I could have gone for Scarf, but I didn't really like the damage output I had. So I went with a uh, Choice Bandit set, Max Attack 216 Speed to ensure I outspeed. Things like Max Speed Cresselia, uh, Max Speed Tapu uh, I went with Terra Fire this week instead of Terra Rock, because Mega Scissors Bullet Punch will Oko me if I am not um, Terra Fire, because with Terra Rock he can Oko me with Bullet Punch. Uh, moveset is Flare Blitz, Head Smash, Close Combat and Stealth Rocks. Um, rocks are not all that important, but if I discover he has uh, not much opportunity to get rid of hazards on his side of the field, I can always uh, choose to set up Stealth Rocks if I know he is going to switch out. Uh, number 3 is going to be Arbok, one of my um, three new uh, um, Pokemon that I'm going to use this week um, and a surprise um, I made a fourth transaction that I did not include into uh, my uh, last video but I'm going to t talk about that when that thing comes around. Uh, Arbok is going to be a physical wall plus setup sweeper uh, max attack 116 in uh, max HP 160 attack 92 defense impish nature with the intimidate um, Gunshot and Fire Fang are basically the only um, damaging moves it need. Glare to uh, slow down my opponent's Pokemons and Coil as setup. Uh, this thing can counter Tapu Fini pretty comfortably because um, in Misty Terrain I believe I don't can get burned by Scolds. Um, I can glare things to slow them down like the Oak Pond Cornerstone, like the Mega or the Curum Black. Even Mega Scizor. Uh, Coil not only boosts my attack and defensive stats, so my um, physical side, it also boosts my accuracy. So Gunk Shot will um, have a. Not sure if it gets above 100%, but it will get pretty high, and I can fire off Gunk Shots pretty, pretty reliantly. Uh, Mega Scizor is the one of the only things that really take it. Maybe the Needle Queen uh, will take it, but I won't stay in into a Needle Queen. And Fire Fang will hit the Mega Scizor um, pretty hard. So, um, yeah, Arbok is going to be a uh, pretty good asset to the team this week. Next up is going to be Klefki. Um, like I said, 
uh, a surprise Klefki is that surprise um, I did not pick up Klefki, uh, Klefki initially but after dropping my skun tank my um, cloister and my tropius I discovered I only had Quaquavel left as a hazard removal Pokemon option and I did not like that so uh, I decided to drop my Screamtail and pick up Loki the Klefki. <coughs> Sorry, that was kind of wheezy. Um, this thing is going to be a bulky offense and a wall crippler um, at the same time. Max HP, 84 defense, 176 special attack, bold nature with prankster. Um, yeah, this thing can hard counter Curum Black. Um, the Mega Scissor I can hold pretty well. Um, but the plan is to get this in onto into Cresselia, into Tapufini, maybe even McMortar uh, if it comes. And click Switcheroo so I can give the Choice Band to a special attacker. Um, yeah, if Cresselia is Choice Locked, I think it's pretty crippled. If Fini is Choice Locked, I think it's pretty crippled. And after that, I can click Dazzling Gleam and Flash Cannon into his team and basically do neutral damage to a lot of his mons except for the Mega Scissor. I believe. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else that doesn't uh, take uh, neutral damage from either one of the two. Uh, Spikes as his final move because it gets Prankster, so I can get up my hair. Uh, I can get up Spikes against him. Only thing that doesn't take Spike's damage are the Cresselia and the Vespaquin. I don't see the Vespaquin coming. So um, punishing a lot of switching will be very nice. Number 5 is going to be Rule 34 the Vaporeon. My uh, third Pokemon that I picked up. Um, max HP, 40 special attack, 220 in defense with a Mother's Nature Water Absorb. Yeah, this is a special wall very clearly. Um, he has... A Tapufini that can't really touch me. Um, he has a Nidoqueen that doesn't do all that much into me. And that's about it. Maybe he brings special Curum and I can use it for that. But this thing is mainly here for the Tapufini. Flip turn to get out. Uh, Synchro Noise. Very fun move. Fun move to use. Uh, I can only hit water type move Pokemon with that, aka Tapufini. But it is the highest uh, damaging move that I have on my uh, Vaporeon for it, so I decided to run it and cry a lot if he does not bring Tapufini, but I don't see why he won't bring it. Uh, Yawn is a great way of spreading uh, sleep into my opponent's team and basically make something useful, uh, useless. And clicking Wish for Wish Support to uh, any other Pokemon is always nice. Um, brings me to my last Mon and that's going to be Deadshot the Dragapult as a utility set. 132 attack, max special attack, 124 in speed. It's not special defense with the mild nature. Um, lowering his special uh, defense and boosting his special attack, I believe. Not sure. Um, clear body has the ability uh, heavy duty boots. So I can switch in um, as much as I want. Dragon Dodge, U turn, Hex, and Will O Wisp. Um, for his physical attackers. Nothing can take a Will-O-Wisp. Magmortar is the only thing and I do not intend of cli on clicking Will-O-Wisp into it. Um, Dragon Darts is there as a stab option and otherwise I can always click U-Turn and switch things around. So, like I said, a utility set. The Dragon Pot is only brought to three games so far of the five and yeah, I plan on changing that. Because Dragapult, as my first round pick, should be coming more, I believe. Fun fact, uh, every Mon that I had until week 5, I have used at least once. And I believe only one thing on my team that uh, has been brought so far that I have for week 6 has no kill and that is the Spidops. Everything else got at least one kill including my Dragapult and my uh, Quaquavel even though Quaquavel is kinda underperforming I believe. 
But eh, it's whatever. Um, so yeah, looking at what my opponent will bring, um, I noticed I did not uh, put any animations in it, but it's fine. Um, I believe he will bring his top six mons basically. So that means the Curum Black, because it's a Curum Black, the Mega Scissor, as it's a very good physical wall for him, um, Tsapu Fini as a special wall, Ogapon Cornerstone as maybe a setup sweeper, Cresselia as a uh, Terra Captain and I believe Terra Poison um, will be annoying to deal just to deal with. And I think Nido Queen will come because I just didn't see anything else coming. I could see the Ordino coming instead of it, basically, but not much more. So, yeah, this is the team for week six. I'll be contacting Bob um, and we'll go into the battle. See you all there. Okay, so here we are with King Bob. Um, he brings pretty much exactly what I expected him to bring. Um, so, um, he, we do this a second time, we hadn't do any uh, rounds any before this because uh, Bob brought the wrong Terra <laughs> on his Cresselia. So, um, looking at his team, I think starting off with that shot will be pretty free. And I can click... Willow against pretty much anything. He doesn't have a fire fire type, so let's do that. I start up with Dragapult. He starts up with the Needle Queen. Um, let's see. D -d 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 Dragapult against Nido Nido Queen Nido Queen. Uh, max special attack. Ice Beam has a chance to Oko, so I am going to U-turn into Jagger Juggernaut, I think. If he is Choice Scarfed, Choice Scarfed, he will outspeed, but Ice Beam can't kill. I have Wish on Vaporeon, so that's good. He switches out into Feeny. 6% into the Feeny. Let's say Calm Mind. 6%. So. Oh, yeah, this is Max Pede of Max Defense Feeny. Um, what would he switch into this? Not sure, but I think I'll just fire off the switcheroo right away. What does he do? Knock off. Fine by me. I have his Tapufini Choice Bandit. Haha, <laughs> nice. Um, I can click Spikes for free. Only the uh, Cresselia does not take anything. Uh, I'm clicking spikes. And expecting him to either earth power or um, toxic spikes, I can freely go into juggernaut here. I hope. Oh, good prediction from him. 50% into juggernaut. Celestila against a Nido. Queen, Thunderbolt, hmm, he did 50, mm. Scarfed, could be Scarfed. Let's see, Arbok, Arcanine, Dragapult, 
lefty or tape. The Porian doesn't take that much, so I can safely switch into that. 38, that was a max roll apparently. Um, I can click Wish. <coughs> there comes the Cresselia. I'm clicking Yawn. Thunder Wave. I don't think I really mind it that much being Thunder Waved. Uh, I'm clicking Wish again. He switches into Fini. That takes damage. And Klefki is a pretty decent switch in. I know knockoff, so anything else. Defog, getting rid of my spikes and his terrain. Uh, I'm clicking spikes again and see what he wants to do. Nido Queen again. Kind of the same back and forth. Um, yeah, I did not have removal because most things don't really mind taking it. So um, I can scout for Scarf here and flip turn. I don't know its item yet. The Juggernaut is always a good switch in here, I believe. Because I'm gonna click Leech Seed, he can Thunder Wave me. I'm getting passive recovery from this, and I can substitute up now into his Needle Queen. <sighs> um, how much does a Heavy Slam do into this? With decent damage. I know Thunderbolt, I know Stealth Rocks, I know he's probably Scarfed. Oh, come on. Why do I have such bad luck regarding Paras this style uh, lately? I mean, it's very annoying. Um, I can Will-O-Wisp something, I can U-Turn, how much did Dra those Dragon Darts do into this? Uh, I, th I think he's probably going into Fini, so U-Turn will be best, yeah. Fini's getting worn down a bit, which is great for me. Um, Vaporeon comes in. Let's see, his Finny can have Defog, but I don't think he will Defog away his own rocks right now. And Scizor can have Defog, but we'll see. I can click Synchronize, scouting what he wants to do. Um, I guess Knockoff or Switch. In that case, Jan will be better, so Jan. Knockoff, fair enough. His Mega Scissor comes in. I wish up. How much can Mega Scissor do to Vaporeon? Scissor Mega. Pokey Swords Dance. Max Attack. And I want to know Buck Bite as a neutral as well. I'm at 70, so. Switch in, Arbok with Intimidate, take most damage pretty well. So let's go for Arbok. Intimidating it, knock off 28%, yeah that's probably max attack. Um, what will be a switch in to this? Not sure though. Um, I can glare yet because of the terrain. I can coil up. But Nidoqueen is pretty free here, so 
Firefang will probably best bet. Hmm, pretty good damage. Slow. That thing is slow. Am I naturally faster? I am. Funny. Cure and black. I switch into Loki. Um, yeah, he will outspeed me for sure. I can switch route. Um, let's go. Let's calc damage first. Uh, Klefki. Cure um, Black. He is a special set, so. Um, Earth power, or at least mixed. Earth power into me. He is not probably uninvested special attack. Um, into Celestila. Uh, Celestila is pretty worn out. Um, worn down. Could be scarfed, by the way. Um, Does Vaporeon take from this? Skill shot will kill for sure. Um, I can switch through takeaways item and let Klefki go down. I think that's the best thing to do here. Lido Queen. Okay, he was life for it. It was life for it. Good to know. Um, Vaporeon can be decent. Juggernaut can be decent. I can set up spikes. I think I will do that because. Okay, Earth Power. He's predicting me pretty well so far, um, but I will ensure I outspeed this. So I'm going for his swing Arcanine. And into his Tapu Fini. And now he's physical defensive. Between Arcanine, Head Smash does a ton. Is there anything else he would switch into? Because Flare Blitz will definitely Oko this thing. Uh, Head Smash is the way to go, I think. It was not. And I die. <sighs> I'm basically screwing myself right now. <laughs> Scissor. I can kill this, hopefully. I cannot. Um, he's definitely going for a bullet punch. Or a roost. Oh, nice. Clearing this will be very good for me. Um, will he go for Earth Power again? I guess so. Otherwise, good prediction. Icicle Spare. Um, yeah, this isn't looking good. <laughs> I really shot myself in the foot not going for Flame uh, Flare Blitz. Claws. Um, flip turn. He was still faster, but that doesn't matter. And I can go for dragon darts here. 
probably Finny. You turn out into rule 34. Okay, that's decent for me. He is bandit, so he's going to switch out now into his cornerstone. I'm going to snack hard. Yeah, that thing, this thing can probably sweep me. I have to click glare. Otherwise, Dragapult can't outspeed it. Oh, this is going so bad. Yeah, I am going away after this battle and I was hoping to do this battle before going away, so... Oh, that's nice. Getting some damage off. And... That shot will probably be able to take it out now. Um, especially with the Hex. So I'm not getting 6 0 that's nice. Um, taking Willow. I don't really care at this point. Because one, two things I can take down with Hex probably. Great. Cresselia. Probably Terra Poison. There we go. 6%. Rule 34. I'm going to yawn this. If he switches out... I'm going for flip turn because it feels pretty free to do now. Oh, big crit. Um, what's better now? Let's see. Pulled into um, what you call it? Cure um, black. He is paralyzed. Dragon darts does most. The queen. I know I will outspeed this. I can click U-turn. Only the Cresselia is going to be annoying now. Um, I've seen T-Wave, Psychic, Thunderbolt. He has seen my entire set. 3-0 so um, yeah I'm going to sign off immediately because I will be going GG to King Bob um, yeah let's hope we can win next week I don't think I played yeah I did play pretty poorly I gave pretty up my Arcanine so yeah um, if I just click flab blitz things may and might have gone differently but it's whatever um, hope you still enjoyed it and hopefully see you all next week. Bye!